Welcome back to another episode of Rising World. I'm the Radio Man 03, and it is awesome to have you along. We are going to start a brand new world, and I just, I, I never have never done this before. We did a multiplayer world, and I think Variety kind of loaded it up, so I never really paid attention to what was going on. But there's some different choices here. We've got normal, we've got high ores, uh, caves, which is enabled, normal, normal, high, enabled, enabled. And this doesn't say anything on the animals. I'm assuming all of this is going to be available in our world. The seed is here. I'm wondering, can I go... Can I type in Radio Realms? And have that as a seed and see what it comes up with? Let's see. Looks like it is. Okay. Here we are. Oh, wow. This, this is... This is snow. I've not seen snow before. The reason we're starting over is because you guys have shown such great support for this game since I've been playing it. I've only got 19 episodes up in the first season. This is going to be season two. The kind of the idea was to just jump in and see what it is we could accomplish and play with it a little bit and see what we thought of the game and, and all that good stuff. And lo and behold... Two potatoes. Let's get a little bit of food, huh? Yeah. Uh, you guys you guys have enjoyed it. It looks like a lot of you went out and purchased the game. And when I play the game, you guys are watching. So I'm just really thrilled about that. Let's get a little bit of wood, huh? Um, so I thought I would really like to start over. And I would like to do some sort of a, some sort of a realm, you know? Some sort of a, a kingdom, so to speak. Uh, with like a village and a blacksmith and all that good stuff. And we're just going to uh, have some fun with it and see what else we can build out of it. Now, we've built a workshop and we built a house and we've, we did a water garden and we did some we did some caving and stuff like that. And we got kind of a feel for the game. And, and yeah, I, I enjoy it. I liked it. Hello, moose. So we're going to get some uh, above ground ores and things of that nature. Uh, also... Also, last episode, the new update came out. 7.2.5, I believe, is the update. If we go to our inventory and hit crafting, I totally forgot this was up here. This is where you can go, and there's a medical here, and you can make bandages, and your leg splint right here. Okay? So it's in the crafting menu. Uh, not sure why it isn't, but Z Firefox, let me know about that. So thank you so much, Sir Firefox. I appreciate that. So let's get some above ground ores and see kind of what ores we get. We're looking for some iron so we can make ourselves a weapon. We definitely want that. So we're going to get a few things going here. Did they just introduce snow? I, I know they have um, They introduced uh, some new crates too. I believe it was crates. So there's all kinds of new stuff in the game that we're going to be able to uh, discover while we're, while we're starting out here again. What do we pick up? A uh, stone. Five iron. Okay, excellent. Oh, that's just what we needed, people. That is just what we needed. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-huh. Look at him move. I'd say he's moving a little bit more, wouldn't you? I, I think he is. Now, my, my idea here and where I want our realm to be is someplace in a mountain uh, near water. That's what I think would be really great. Uh, so we're overlooking the water. That was an interesting digging sound. And you know what I should also do before we get too far into this? Is I should check the settings to make sure I have them set up. Uh, in the last episode I did on the first season, I had adjusted my settings a little bit. And lo and behold, it, it, it stopped the game from crashing. I played for a good, I'd say, I'm going to say two to three hours. And I had no crashes, which was great. If this is plenty of iron on us, we don't have to stop and get iron anymore. Uh, some coal would be nice to find, though. We're going to go ahead and grab up what we can right now. And uh, I asked if you guys were looking to, if it was fine, if, if I started a new world, and a couple of you said, yeah. And, and, and it's, it's always the same answer, which is great. As long as you're happy, we're happy. So uh, thank you for that so very much. So, so very much. I appreciate hearing that. Um, what do we got here? More potatoes? Oh, man, it's a potato day today. Mm -hmm. Look at the snow out here, though. This is pretty cool. This is very, very cool. We're going to get another tree here, too. We're going to need some wood. Uh, we got to get our workbench going and stuff. We're going to go up in this snow and take a look at it. I've never seen snow before. That is pretty awesome. These trees, of course, take the longest to cut down. 
Once the sun goes down, we'll be able to see what... Oh, I bet that tree went all the way down the hill. <laughs> no, he didn't. Okay, good. These are dead trees, too, so we're not getting any saplings off of them. Interesting. Oh, that's very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, my gosh. Look at this, guys. Look how cold it is up here. Holy cow. When did the snow come into play? Or am I just crazy and have not found a, a snow-capped mountain? This is beautiful up here. Snow blindness. I can't see a thing, Captain. Uh, wow, this is so awesome up in here. Look at this, you guys. The snow-capped mountain. It's beautiful. Oh, it looks so cold. Okay, let's go to our inventory. Let's take a look. Um, no, we don't need binnacle. We're going to go to general. Uh, and we're going to get a uh, crafting station. First thing, we need 16 lumber. So let's get some lumber going. Uh, resources, lumber. 16. That should be enough of that right there. We're going to get some sticks going as well. A little bit more lumber. Go back to resources. Let's get a crafting. Let's get our workbench crafted. So we have that handy. And I believe we can make a small shelter now. Awesome. We can sleep the nights away. Let's get that stuff put in the proper place. So that's going to work just fine right there and right there. We can take the little bit of wood we've got left there. We've got some dirt. We have... Oh, wow. Okay, so we're doing pretty good on iron. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to need some stone in order to make a smeltery so we can smelter that stuff up. Let's take another tree down. Let's take one of these down and see if we get a sapling off of it, despite the fact it's covered in snow. I'm willing to bet we'll get a sapling off of it. Timber! Coming down, ladies and gentlemen. Coming down. So first and foremost, I want to thank you for all the support on the series, Rising World. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. I'm glad you're enjoying playing the game. And we are going to get into the game much more and see just what it is we can create with this stuff. And I want to stick pretty medieval with the whole thing. There we go. There's a couple of nice little pine tree saplings. Can I grab that one right there? Come on. Give it to me. No. Nope. It's not going to let me have that one. Huh. Why not? Give it up. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, perfect. Let's go on up over the top of this mountain here. We're going to leave that stump there. Yeah, we're going to want a smeltery so we can uh, get the iron smelted down so we can get ourselves uh, a weapon going. And then we're going to keep our eyes open for cotton and hemp and all those good things. And we definitely want a sickle too, right away so we can start collecting some seeds. Oh my god, look at that. Look at all the snow. That is so awesome. I love the fact they've got the dead trees up here too. Maybe not dead trees. Maybe it's, maybe it's wrong to call them dead trees. These are trees that are asleep for the winter, right? They're just slumbering because it's cold and the leaves have dropped off of them for the winter. Something a lot of areas are going into. Right now, the trees in my yard, uh, it is September uh, 21st, 2016. It's the official last day of summer. Uh, the, uh, the leaves have turned yellow while I was on vacation. They've all, a lot of them have turned yellow now, especially in my aspen trees. They're yellow. What was that? Okay, we're good. What are these, what are these tall, these, look at these pine trees up here that are, that are just, they're dead. These are dead ones. So the leaves are, have all turned yellow on my aspen trees. They're, they're gone. This is so off. Oh my god, there's a penguin. Listen to the snow crunch under my feet. Can you hear that? <laughs> hey, little dude. I kind of want to test to see if he drops anything when I kill him. Oh, that is amazing. That is so cool. I don't know which direction we're heading. I, 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 they, you know, okay, so the sun. Sun's going down over there. So, okay, that's west. That's east. That's going to be north. Right? North. Sun comes up in the east, sets in the west. No, so north is this way. West, east, south. So, I guess we're headed north. We're going to go north. We're going to go north, people. I was going to go south. But I wasn't sure which way south was. But I believe the sun is currently starting to go down. Oh my god, this is amazing. Do we leave footprints? No, we don't. We don't leave footprints. But I can hear my feet crunching in the snow 
and that makes me very happy. And I'm moving very slow, too. There's another penguin. Oh my god, amazing. We're going to want to find some water, too, and uh, we are just definitely not in a water situation here. It'd be so cool if he fell down on his belly and slid down the hill. <laughs> It'd be so cool. I must have missed an update. I must have missed one while I was on vacation or something. I did not know penguins were in the game right now. Very, very cool. What an exciting start for me. I tell you, this is an exciting start. Very refreshing. Very refreshing. I'm excited about this. Hope you guys are too. Uh, you know, our, our kingdom that we build, I, I don't want it to be like this like this huge castle, but I would like to do something like this where there would be a drawbridge across something like this, you know, and we fill it in with water and stuff. I know they're going to eventually have water that flows, I would imagine. So I, I really want to do it up nicely. And uh, we'll spend some time working on it. And uh, as, as always, with any Let's Play you see on my channel, your suggestions are very, very, very important and are implemented into the world. So that's, the, you know, that's just... Um, that's just good let's playing, I think. It's just good let's playing. Can you believe this place? Look at the penguins. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> that is so cool. Uh, wow, water is going to be an issue for us here in a little bit. We need to make sure we get to it. That's why I'm not running. I don't want to run and run out of water. Uh, I don't think temperature has too much to do with it. Uh, they said that uh, in 7.2.5 update, they they did change some of the lighting. And I noticed that in the last episode we were playing when the sun was going down, the sunset was a little bit different looking. I kind of liked it the other way. I'm not sure yet. But there is also now a moon in the night sky. So we'll have to watch for that. We'll, we'll take a little stroll at night and see what we can see at night. Oh, God. You guys, would you hate me if I killed a penguin to see if there's anything inside the penguin? I'm dying. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of curious if there's anything in a penguin. I can't imagine what would be in there other than maybe some meat. But you can't even get meat off a fox right now. So I'm willing to bet the penguins don't have. I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to leave them alone. We have some iron. This is an extremely huge snow biome. We've got to get through it. I heard a woodpecker. That's another thing I think about Rising World that they've really done well is to make you feel like you are in the great outdoors with the birds singing and the, the crickets and the chirping and things like that. I really feel like they've done a good job of pulling you in and making you feel like you're actually outside. Like the crunch of the snow under my feet right now and, and just the snow itself. If there was a breeze with the snow coming off the tops of these little mountains and stuff, I would be freezing. Holy crap, guys. We've got to find some water. We've got to find water. This is uh, an extremely huge snow area, and I don't see water anywhere. It would all be frozen right now, and we would be in some trouble. We're going to be going into a forest now. Are these? Oh, I thought those were aspen trees for a second, or birch, but they're not. It was just the snow on the pines, and they hadn't quite uh, completely come in yet. Okay, that's telling us that the sun is about to go down, right? see the sun at all oh that's just beautiful it is just beautiful back in here we'll have to watch for bears now I, I guess if we eat the potatoes we'll probably get some water out of the potatoes don't know I don't know I mean we haven't run into tomato plants or anything else back in here there's a moose um, I'm just really being careful and watching out for the bears. Uh, back when Variety and I were playing together, um, she had a tiger take off after her, and that tiger did not stop chasing her. No matter how far she ran, that tiger continued to chase her. And I feel like a bear would do the same thing to me, just keep on running after me. And I don't need that happening, so we're going to really be careful about that. This is amazing. We do not want to live in here because there, so far I, I'm not seeing any water. That that's really an issue here. Can we chop this little? I get anything for that? I don't think I got anything for that. More penguins! Holy crap! <laughs> this is a cold, cold place. 
Radio, why did you go north? Does it just stay this way north? Just keep on north? Okay, the sun is going down there, so we are definitely headed north. Uh, let's get our shelter up on the bar so we can sleep when we need to. Now, if they're going to add weather effects to this and temperature from the cold, that would be pretty interesting, too. And uh, we would be, like, getting really cold in here. We'd be needing to find, uh, you know, warmer clothes and stuff like that or kill a moose for the, the fur so we, we can make uh, clothes out of it. I'm hoping armor is going to come someday. I think that would be really cool. You could never walk that close to a wild moose, by the way. I think it would kill you. We might be coming out of this. On the other side of these trees here, I don't know. Incredible. Incredible. That's kind of funny. I was just recording a Life in the Woods episode, and we spent a bunch of time in snow there, too. So I'm actually a little cold. <laughs> Moose. No grizzly bears so far. Brown bears or whatever they are. As long as they're not the, the, the Kodiak. The Kodiak bear. It's beautiful out here though. I don't know if I should cut away and bring you guys back. Will you find something? I don't normally do that. I keep you with me and I, I just keep chit-chatting, you know. I'm a talker, baby. I'm a talker. I'm going to look for the perfect spot, too, guys. I'm not going to be in a rush about this. I want to find a really good spot. And once we do, oh, it's going to be so worth it. It is going to be so worth it. Oh, my gosh. I would not be opposed to a, a, a biome like this, too, that was green. But we got to find some green. We need to find some green. Holy cow. This is crazy. Um, is is it now based on? Okay, I'm heading north, so it's just snow until I'm, you know, I, I can't go north anymore. I, I don't know. As far as I know, the world just keeps on going, right? Maybe we've got a green valley coming up out here. Still no bears, so it looks like the bears don't live up in here. Well, you know, if there were bears up here, odds are they would be hibernating right now, right? Because it's cold. Depending on the temperature of the day, though, bears will wake up from hibernation. They certainly will. Go out and hunt just a little bit and then go back to sleep again. A lot of animals will do that in the winter. I think I was talking about the fact that winter is just around the corner here at, at my place. Just around the corner. I live in the mountains in Arizona, not down in the desert. I know a lot of people here, you got snow. What are you talking about snow? Yeah. Mm-hmm. We get more snow than Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> where I live in Arizona. Uh-huh. Oh, there's green. Oh, we're coming out of it, guys. We're coming out of it. Oh, beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Oh, we will sleep right on the edge of this beautiful snow biome. Is that a sn What is this? One apple. Oh, <laughs> that's awesome. Oh, that is so awesome. One frozen apple. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We're coming out of it. Awesome. We have made it to warm land okay let's get our uh, let's get our bed out and we'll set this thing up right here okay let's go ahead and take a sleep mm -hmm. sip my coffee real quick and another beautiful day is underway in rising world ah yes wonderful sleep The sun is out. Yeah, definitely. Okay, there's the sun to the east. Yeah, okay, so we're definitely heading north. More potatoes. We have been finding the potato plants like crazy. That's okay. Spectacular. Now we're now I'm in the mood for some water. I would really like to find a little bit of water. You hear the birds singing? I noticed in the morning time on the game they sing quite a bit more. And in, in the in the okay, I'll try this again. And in the evening, as the sun is beginning to go down, you hear the birds singing more as well. It's pretty cool. Oh, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Give them to me. I'll take them. Now we could eat these tomatoes if you didn't know, and the tomatoes will definitely give us some water. Hmm. 
There we go. Lovely. I heard a pig. I thought I heard a pig. Oh, it's a cherry tree. Let's get ourselves uh, let's get ourselves set up with some saplings as well. Let's grab the cherries. Let's get ourselves a cherry sapling. We're going to try to grab some of these things too. So we can have these in our inventory so when we get to where we're getting, we can plant them. There we go. A couple of cherry saplings there. Perfect. Here we have a willow. We're going to chop down this willow tree as well. And a couple of the birch too. That way we have a little bit of everything going on. I think we've picked up some pine saplings, which I'm happy about. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Those willow saplings. And here's a birch tree right over here. This should take about a second to chop it down. Oh, here's some cotton. Oh, man. I really need a sickle. We need a sickle. We really do. Uh, watch out, cow. No, watch out, cow. So now we know the cotton is growing out here in an open prairie as well. So that's a good thing. It's not just in... Looks like it grows in a bunch of different locations. Where are they at? There they are. Okay, so let's check our inventory. Let's put all our wood down here. We'll get that organized there. And then we have several different kinds of saplings now, which is fantastic. What do we got here? Spruce, birch, willow, and cherry. Very nice. Excellent. Uh, I would like to take some of the cotton plants with us as well, but I don't know that it's... Let's, let's, let's keep going. There's more cotton right over there. We need some stone in order to make um, the smelter. So we're going to need that. Right now, I guess what we'll do is we'll focus on collecting some of the saplings and stuff like that. If we get to the point where we find an area we want to be for sure, then we can uh, we can stop moving. But right now we're going to keep... Uh, oh boy, we got palm trees up ahead. That means we're going to have tigers and stuff. Yeah, we may need to stop and dig in a little bit, get some stone, get a smelter up and running, and... Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at that. Oasis, tropical oasis right here. With the ocean. Let's grab a palm tree too while we're at it. There it is. All right. Okay, that was a chicken. She's a scare easy. A scare real easy. What do we got over here? Apple. There we go, beautiful. Apple trees, excellent. Uh, wow, we've got just about all the trees, I think, now. I think we have just about all the trees. Um, I was kind of expecting to see some tigers and stuff out here, but I don't see any. This goes on a little ways, too. It's quite lovely, isn't it? Isn't that beautiful? A nice sandy beach. I hear seagulls, too. Now yeah, I hear seagulls. Oh, look at the sand. This is so awesome. Sand. Oh, that is so cool. All right, where's that sun at? North. Do we swim? Do we swim? They changed the water, too. They were supposed to remove the fog from underwater. So it looks like they may have done that as well. We're swimming. We're going to go for a swim and see what's on the other side of this water. Is, it, is this a lake? Is this an ocean? I'm imagining this is an ocean. A couple updates ago, they did uh, add some water plants as well, so the water looks good, though. It looks really good. How deep is this? 
Oh boy, that's, that looks pretty deep. <laughs> okay, when we hit land, I want to get set up with a few things necessary in, to include a smelter so we can get this iron smelted down. Get a few more things put together, uh, mainly either a sword or a battle axe, and then um, a compass, a clock, and uh, a sickle. We, w we definitely want to have a sickle so we can start getting some seedlings from the different plants that we've come across, the tomatoes, the potatoes, strawberries, watermelon, all that stuff. We can get the seeds, the cotton, the hemp. We want the, uh, the little seedlings that we can plant and then utilize later on. Oh wow, this is going to be quite a swim. i tell you what, I'll swim for a little while and I'll bring you back when we get to land ho. Oh, I see land. It's coming into view. <laughs> I've, I've been swimming for maybe, I'm going to guess about three minutes since the last time we were uh, together. But yeah, we are definitely hitting shore now. <laughs> it's awesome. I mean, it, you really, I thought, okay, have I done something wrong here? Should I turn back? But uh, it looks like, no, I just keep on going. And uh, sure enough, here we are. We're hitting some more land again. Very cool. Very, very cool. Awesome. Just checking. I, I don't know if the water's all that clear to see under. I mean, it's not bad, right? It's, it's, you can see pretty good. Once the water gets a certain depth, you shouldn't be able to see too well in it. Here we go. We're back out of the water. Uh, still kind of heading north, I believe. Midday. It's around noon, I think, right now. I think. I have no idea. I have no idea what time it is. We've been at this for a little bit now. I probably should pause and uh, come back for another episode, but uh, I feel like we need to get a little bit more progress taken care of before we break away. Oh, you know what I should do? Fill up with some water here. We're right here. Yeah, salt water. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I could drink this water. Let's see. You cannot drink salt water. Okay, that's salt water. Which, of course, you shouldn't drink salt water. It'll kill you. <laughs> It'll kill you. Oh, the grass is greener. Yeah, it, it talked about in the update to 7.2.5 that the graphics... Uh, they, they've been working on the graphics and making things a little more detailed and stuff like that. So they may have, you know, it, it just, it, it does look a lot better to me. The entire world looks better to me. Come on over here. I'm looking at these, uh, this hill right here, wondering if maybe there's some mountains on the other side of it. That's a substantial hill right here with a beautiful prairie down below. There's a watermelon. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Uh, this looks like copper to me. Nice cave system right here, too. Wow, this is kind of a pretty spot. Uh, but it's not the mountains I'm looking for. I want those big gray mountains, you know? I want the big mountains. Oh, boy. we got to be careful. This is forest. Dense forest. we got to watch out for the bears. We do not want bears coming after us. I tell you what, though, this would be a good spot to uh, come down here off this hill, get some stone, get a smelter set up, and get things kind of put together, get a sense of our direction. Uh, we've got all kinds of plant life in here that we can go ahead and start getting some some seedlings. We've got potatoes right there, watermelons and things like that. So, yeah, let's do that. Let's go ahead and set up shop. We've got a water hole right here. That's a good spot. And I believe we've got some stone right in here. There's some more water right there. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay. Uh, what else we got? Well, then we got this little cave area right here. So I think, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set up shop right here. I'm going to set the workbench up. Let's do that. Uh, inventory. Let's get our workbench set up. Well, we could put our bed down too while we're at it. Let's do that. We'll put the bed right here. Very good. All right, inventory. Let's get our workbench set up as well. All right, beautiful. Let's see. What do we need for a uh, smelting furnace? We need 128 stone and four lumber. 128 stone? Psh, ain't nothing, man. That ain't nothing. Um, just start digging right here. 
It's really nothing to get 128 stones. So let me get the 128 stone put together, and I'll be right back. All right, we got the 128 stone for lumber. Okay, let's go to resources, lumber. We'll make a few of those. Uh, actually, you know what? Lumber. Let's go ahead and make quite a bit of that. I believe we're going to need that for uh, fuel for the uh, for smelting. Uh, yeah, we want to just craft one of those and escape. There we go. And we've got one right there in four. Perfect. All right, let's go ahead and get this guy set up. Uh, somewhere, let's, let's, let's put this a little bit further away, not where it's going to be catching things on fire. And we're going to turn it around and there we go. Perfect. That'll work just fine. Excellent. Now you can't take these with you, but that's okay. We are just trying to get our initial stuff. I, I, I okay. The furnace has no fuel. Okay. Oh, there we go. There's the door. There we go. All right. Let's uh, let's put some of these in our inventory as well. There we go. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah. There's two doors on this thing. The back one. I don't know that it does anything really. <laughs> but this the side one is the one you want. The little one. And if you got you got to be careful placing this thing too, because if you put it too far down on the ground on a slant or something, you can't reach it. So you're better off just uh, you know keeping it up somewhere high. Uh, we'll make a canteen for ourselves as well while we're out here. That way we can we can take a little water with us. Although a canteen really isn't very medieval, is it? A canteen, you know, it, it'd be kind of cool if you could do a water skin where you would kill a goat or something and take the goat's bladder or something and turn it into a. I know it's not a very attractive thing, is it? It is what it is, people. <laughs> All right, 27 iron. Oh, boy. Oh, we've got to turn it. We gotta... No, 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 no. We don't want it on. There we go. Uh... There we go. Been a while since I've done this. You're better off aiming just at the front of it like so. And can we get all the way in the back there? Oh, beautiful. That's what we're looking for. Oh, we are, Daddy is cooking the iron. Mm-hmm. That should take about six minutes, and we have iron for making some tools. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take a break right here. This is going to be the end of Episode 1 of Season 2, okay? Hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope you're excited about this as much as I am. We're going to get our initial tools set up. We're going to get a compass, hopefully, set up. Uh, I'm not quite sure what we need for a compass, but we'll try to figure these things out next episode. We'll get those tools put together, and we will head off and look for that mountain range that we're going to build our uh, Radio Realms Kingdom on. So uh, thank you so much for your time. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 Have an awesome, fantastic, and superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.